Welcome to a new series of E3D How To with Narration. I'm Tian Seng and I will be leading the process of creating connections in this first tutorial. First, let's go to the structure application. We need to create a site and zone to store our model. Site and zone are used to partition the project. In bigger projects where you have many people working on, a site may be a level in a multi-level facility for the mechanical discipline, the piping discipline, and so on. For simple module projects, a site may be the module and each discipline are partitioned by zones. Site and zones are also coordinate systems as well. With the zones created, we will create the true or structure and framework elements to store our structure model. We will be using Genset for the beams that we are going to create. In E3D, all structural element uses Genset for both straight and curved beams. We start our beam creation by selecting the profile in the default step. Next, we can select the justification of the beam. This is the reference line that is being aligned to. For this case, we select C top. We will now create the main beam. We use the straight from the create tab. First, we define the first point. We can key in the first point. Next, we can drag and select the end point or we can key in the end point relative to the first point as well. Here, we put in a negative 2000 to create a beam that is 2000 or 2 meters in length. Next, we continue to create the two connecting beams. We use the reference from the end of the main beam and we key in the distance that we need for this point. We select the point and we drag for the end of this beam. For this case, it's a one meter beam. We do the same for the second beam. Now that the beams are created, we are going to connect the secondary beam to the beam beam. We use the connect function. First, we select the main beam and then we select the ends to be connected to the beam beams. There you can see the secondary node or the connections that has been created. Lastly, we have to give this connection a specification and we do this by modifying the join. We select the beam, hit the enter key so that it exposes the joints that we can modify. We select the two joints and we hit the enter key again and we are ready to select the connection configuration. Let's select an equal beam to beam configuration, change the numbers of bolts to two and if you want to, you can check on the configuration itself by looking at the details. Next, we select Apply and the connections will be created. So 
So from the hierarchy, you can see the connections is a fixing. And the fixing can be referencing a catalog element or template element. So for this case, the fixing is actually referencing a template element. But how does the system know what you can choose for the connections? It is really found in the specification. Let me turn our attention to the type of beam this is. This is the type of beam called PFI. So with this information, let's go to the catalog and take a look at the specification. So there are a lot of specification that allows connection between PFI beams to PFI beams. So that's how the system filter the required connections for you to select. We hope you like this video and hope to see you again soon. Bye.